Currently, there are seven students receiving a monthly stipend from the Namibia Students Financial Assistance Fund. The stipend amount is set at $2,000 Namibian dollars, which is slightly over $130 US dollars per month. Surviving in Cuba has become increasingly challenging due to the recent surge in prices of goods and services, primarily influenced by the COVID-19 pandemic. Letters have been written to the NSFAF and other institutions expressing frustration about the ongoing complaint regarding insufficient stipends for the past five years. The letters also question the adequacy of the monthly amount provided. In 2017, one awardee was given a contract to sign, agreeing to receive a monthly stipend of 2000 for the duration of her studies. However, she was unaware of the cost of living in a foreign country and had no knowledge that the amount she agreed to was lower than that received by previous awardees. This situation has created a burden for subsequent beneficiaries who struggle to afford basic necessities such as toiletries and food. Another concern is that in 2015, beneficiaries received approximately 5000 monthly, which the current students consider unfair in comparison. One student who spoke to NBC expressed equal concern about her health as she is unable to afford her medication. Often, she is compelled to purchase them from street vendors. And medication, which is supposed to be free because we are on Cuban scholarship, is very expensive. Why? Because there's nothing here. Cuban hospitals don't have medication. Cuban hospitals don't have... I mean, Cuban pharmacists don't have medication. We mostly have to buy the medications from the street in the black market or we have to order them from outside and do you know how much a, 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 a pack like a, a line of pills cost like 250 namibian dollars and if i'm supposed to buy one that is supposed to last me i mean i'm supposed to buy medication that's supposed to last me for four months i'm gonna have to buy four of these that's a thousand dollars on just meds I'm not exaggerating. I, at this point, we are really tired. Most of us don't have families that can support us financially. We depend on this money. And it's a loan. This is money that we are going to pay back. It's not a bursary or it's not, you know, any other form of, 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 um, of financial assistance. It's a loan. This is money that I myself will pay back. The students assert that the inadequate stipend has had a negative impact on their studies. Letters from the Namibia Students' Financial Assistance Fund, dating back to 2020, have allegedly consistently rejected the students' request to increase their monthly stipend.